This is the VEX VR Storm the Castle Level 2 video. Uh, in this video, we're being asked to create a driver on the castle and push each of the four block, small block buildings off the playground. So we're only looking at the exterior ones. In the previous video, all we had to do is knock over the five ones. But in this one, we're going to be asked to push them off the uh, platform. Again, remember that there's no walls in this one. So we want to set up that function again, like we did in the previous uh, video. And we're going to call this function until red. We're going to use that same down sensor. And we're going to say we want to drive forward. Uh, this time, uh, as we drive forward, because we want to remove these, we might also want to increase our um, drive velocity. So I'm going to change that. And again, we're going to guesstimate here at about 60%. We can change that if we need more later on. And we want to do this until our down sensor, our down eye, detects red. So I'm going to bring this in until the down eye detects red. So again, that's going to give us our safety function as we move around that once we hit red, uh, we want to stop our vehicle from driving. So we're going to be able to use this function over and over again to uh, call it in our program. So we're going to tackle this first building on the right. So we're going to make that 90 degrees. So we're going to turn right 90 degrees. And then we're going to call this function until red. Now I'm going to duplicate this until red function. So we always have it here. So it's easier than having to drag it out. And when I hit this, what I want to do is drive in reverse now. I want to back myself up. And then I need to make a turn. So again, I'm going to duplicate this block just so I can have it available later on. And I'm going to come here and I'm going to turn. Now it doesn't matter if you turn right or left because we're going to make an 180 degree turn. So we're going to turn around uh, the opposite way. Now we can also check our program to see how it runs to see if we're successful as we go. Yep, that first building was knocked off. Well, we have a little bit there, so we might want to increase our uh, drive velocity so we have a little bit more momentum. So we're going to make that at 65%. I'm going to reset here. So now I'm going to call this function again. So that drive function. So we're going to drive forward until we meet that uh, sensor the value reads red again, just like we did in the previous program. Now we want to run that same pattern of driving in reverse and turning. So I'm going to grab that uh, turn. Right. There we go. And again, I want to turn right and that'll be a repeatable step again. So I'm going to duplicate this set of blocks, bring it in here, and I'm going to reverse. But if I notice, if I reverse 200 again, I'm no longer in line with the next one as I knock this off. So I'm only going to reverse 100 in this one before I make that right turn at 90 degrees. So I'm going to run this program again. We're going to notice our 65 uh, drive velocity. That was enough to knock those over. We turned around. And we're in line. Maybe we should have backed up a little bit more, but we're in line right now, as we can see with this set of blocks. Let's see how that goes.